The new gym at J.R. Tucker High School was recently used as part of a showcase for Sportable to help introduce people to their adaptive programs. I think about what a great sports town Richmond is, and I feel like our work and our mission is very much a part of that environment. And I feel like that's one of the reasons that our work is so important. This particular demonstration included wheelchair rugby, which is kind of a combination of basketball, tag, and dodgeball, and has very little to do with the able-bodied sport that shares its name. It used to be called murder ball. But you can't market a sport called murder ball, so it got changed to wheelchair rugby. Joshua Birch joined the Marines almost 10 years ago. He was wounded with a spinal injury that left him in a wheelchair and with a decision to make. Feel sorry for himself? Hold back. Or figure out how to adapt to his new normal. Not sitting inside doing nothing all day. And being able to live a normal life again, getting out and, like I said, just staying active. Through Sportable, Birch took up swimming, archery, and kayaking, among other pursuits. He considered himself active before his injury, but nothing like he is today. I've done so much more after I've been injured than before, and I did a lot before. Um, but all the opportunities I've had, I've traveled way more now. Um, I've skydived, I've, I've done a lot. It's been wheelchair rugby that has captured nearly his full attention. Four players on a side try to score a try using just about any means possible. It's given Birch what he found in the Marine Corps. A sense of togetherness and common bond. Not to mention a positive pursuit for both his body and his mind. I think my favorite part was all the brotherhood and family that you make there. I still have friends that I talk to five, six, seven years later now and keeping up with them. and Like we do a lot together, so we all get real close. And it's definitely helped obviously physically and mentally it just it puts your head in a better place like oh I can do this it makes uh, daily tasks easier. It has been a huge help physically and mentally just building that strength back but then also mentally being around people who understand what you've gone through and you can learn from and have a good time with. Mandy Marciano was paralyzed in middle school and took longer to discover adaptive sports. She used a power wheelchair and saw no reason to switch to a manual one until she was introduced to this version of rugby. I had been in a power chair for so long and when they approached me with playing wheelchair rugby, my first thought was, well, I don't think I can, you know, I use a power chair. I don't think I can push this manual chair. And as soon as I got in it, I was like, wow, this is, this is manageable. Marciano is the only female on the team, but as such is not afforded any special favors. And that's exactly the way she and her teammates would like society to see them. They don't treat me any different. I feel like an equal teammate with them. But I grew up with three older brothers. So I'm used to being around, around the guys and uh, it's fun. It's a platform to show your strength and that you don't need to be, you don't need any special treatment. It shows, shows how tough we can be. Tough is just the tip of the iceberg for these athletes. What they have been through has been difficult, but they've found strength in each other and a sense of purpose, not only for themselves, but for anyone else who might benefit as they have. While they can be inspirational and they are role models, especially to people that have disability profiles that would like to compete, I think just like you and I, they want to compete for the camaraderies, the friendships, and for the opportunity in which to, to be active. This is what you can do. This is what I've done. Um, I've done way more in a chair than I have able-bodied. So just don't give up on it. You don't know until you try, and um, you would be surprised at what you can do when you try. Mandy and Josh will take part in training camps for Team USA each month, and the national team will be headed to the World Tournament this July in Birmingham, Alabama.